Hi, I'm Emily Hargrave and welcome back to Prime. The Alexander Mansion is the oldest existing mansion in Dallas. And it is also the home to the Dallas Women's Forum. They have a very exciting event coming up, the annual holiday home tour, which takes place in December. And we have three very lovely ladies with us today to tell us all about the events coming up. We have Virginia Cook, we have Susan Williams and Kathy Roach Reeves. Ladies, thank you so much for being here and for telling us about what we can expect to come. Well, thank you, Emily, for having us in because one of our favorite things to talk about is the events that we have because the mansion is over 100 years old and one, one of our core opportunities to raise money to renovate the mansion is our holiday home tour. The home tour started about five years ago when then Suzanne Pomlin was president and she happened to be off in Montana on a holiday, standing in line, going in to see the Conrad uh, Museum, and someone talked about the holiday home tour in their area. She got all buzzed, called several of us back in Dallas and said, get your Christmas ornaments together, we're going to have a holiday home tour. And I said to myself, that's six weeks away, how can that be? Well, it did take place, and so that began the holiday home tour. This year, it is chaired by Kathy and Susan, and it's our fifth year, and we've added a couple of components. In the past, it was lots of Christmas trees and, and holiday cheer throughout the home, but this year we have a cafe, and we also have a wonderful, wonderful boutique with over 25 vendors, which Susan is in charge of. Very exciting. And so you really, I mean, for those people that don't know about the Alexander Mansion, it is a true grand dame, isn't it, of Dallas? Oh, yes. And it's day, uh, we like to refer to it as the Dallas Fifth Avenue. I mean, New York had nothing on us. But at the end of the day, uh, today, we are only a little bit less than a mile from the Arts District. Mm -hmm. And we're working as diligently as we can with uh, the Ross Avenue uh, uh, people that uh, work in the area to re, you know, to revitalize it, beautify it, etc. Because this is our home away from home. We have other events besides a holiday home tour, and we really want to open it to the public. I mean, if they've never uh, taken children and grandparents, you know, to a home tour that is filled with holiday love and cheer, oh. this is it. We've got a bake sale. They can come and buy goodies for their uh, holiday tables, and not even have to think about baking that minced meat pie. Oh my gosh, it just sounds gorgeous. I've just been transported into this ho the whole ho holiday wonderland. So ladies, how do you put together as chairs of this, how do you put together something that will create this imagery of the holiday season and just open up this beautiful house and, and make it so resplendent to everybody? Well, we just finished decorating it. You did. We have seven giant trees. When you come up the front steps through the uh, beveled glass doors, you're greeted by these two nine foot, uh, 12 foot trees. One's decorated in all kind of girly things, and one's decorated in all kind of little boy things. And then each room has a has a color theme. We have the silver room. We have the uh, the library's turned into the music room. And I always say that it's uh, in honor of Bertie Alexander. It's all in gold and red. We have this year. We have we've done the French parlor in peacock uh, uh, jewel tones. Oh, how it's fabulous. very beautiful. And then we have our Tiffany blue room, which we call our signature room. We kind of use that Tiffany blue uh -huh. color. And uh, there's a lot going on downstairs. There's the the Landair Child Care Center tree. It's a giving tree where people can buy ornaments. We um, we provide some things for the school, and and also we have docent led tours. We have entertainment on the every hour. We have some entertainment in the music room. We have some. We have a harpist and a pianist and some vocalist go, vocalism going on. And we have uh, the bake sale, as she was referring to. You, when you leave, you have to exit through the bake sale. That's how we set it up. <laughs> so you have to go through it and try to resist it. Everything is made by the members. The members make oh, all the food. It's all it's homemade. homemade. Yes. And also, all the decorations were done by members. The front part we have decorated those the columns, but all the inside is decorated by members. You see, you can't ba you can't beat a good bake sale. No, especially when it's homemade, really. And so, how, who makes the decisions then in terms of saying, okay, this is going to be a the peacock blue, this is going to be oh, I mean, peacock room, this is going to be Tiffany blue. Who who is that? The members all collaborate together, or do you have a designer that's that really leads it? Well, well I have a committee. Yeah, we we have a committee, but uh, Kathy and Susan are the chairs. So they, at the end of the day, they have the responsibility of saying this goes here and this goes there. They're not shy ladies. I mean, and I'm the downstairs <laughs> girl, and she's the upstairs girl. 
And, you know, she does kind of infringe on my downstairs every now and then, but I love her, so it's okay. <laughs> Do you have a, a line halfway up the stairs? This is a no-no. <laughs> so what, what's happening upstairs? Upstairs, we have the cafe. Each day, a different menu, uh, a gourmet salad. Last year, everyone raved about the soups. Yes. Um, a little bread basket with different muffins and the dessert mm -hmm. and the dessert and a beverage for twelve dollars. Oh my gosh, I mean, that's, a, that's a bargain! Yeah, and to sit down in the cafe with all the merchants around oh. us, so you're kind of like, oh, when I finish eating, I'm going over there. Mm -hmm. but, and this year we have uh, twenty merchants, and about half of them have been with us before. So people are going to come back because they're looking for. Danny with his vintage Japanese fabric kimonos and mm. scarves and um, Anne Shoshan with her handmade jewelry and we are looking for handmade, quality, local artisans. So it's all local. Yeah, it's all local. All local. So have you, have you uh, filled the merchant list now? I mean, oh, uh, yes, but you, yes. you, you're not taking any more vendors. No, but if they want to Join us, call us in January. And, and, and we'll put them on the list. for next year. Yes. And so the, ever the, the proceeds from this event, which takes place December 6th to the 9th, correct? Yes. Um, that goes towards renovating the Alexander Mansion. Yes, so. totally. Last year we raised $10,000. This year the goal is to raise $38,000. These wow. gals are very ambitious. And they have a committee, I, I call it an army, of uh, probably 30 or 40 people who contribute their time and talent. And, and, and help out, not only in decorating, but uh, Kathy talked about the cafe. Mm -hmm. And all the food in the cafe is homemade. Amazing, I mean, by yeah. members who volunteer. Most of the gals uh, work outside the home, so this is just one more thing to do. Yes. But we get it done. We roll up our sleeves and there we are. Carol Lander, one of our uh, wonderful members who is uh, in her own rights, a chef, is in charge of the cafe. And it is, as, as they've said, it is just marvelous. Um, I don't know uh, if anyone mentioned the cost of the ticket sales, Kathy. Talk about no. Well, I'd love to, what what are they? I'd love to know. How much are the, the cost? The, of the tickets? They, they, to come into the tour, to have the tour and have access to the boutique, and the whole house is ten dollars. Oh, that's a bargain again. It's a bargain, and and that's for adults, and I believe it's uh, five dollars for children, and then the cafe is twelve dollars. Right. And uh, we're going to be this year. We're going to be selling our own blend of tea. Oh! And it'll be for sale in the bake sale. So you can get you can take away your Alexander Mansion blend yes. of tea. Yes, it'll have our logo on. It's a, it's a, something new for us. We're excited about it. It's a black exciting. canister with the gold ribbon. You know, it looks very elegant. Oh, we, we want to go in our decorating and in everything that we do. Our luncheons, we really go for an elegant look. We. We really, we have beautiful china. Everything is, every detail is, we think of every detail when we, when we entertain at the mansion. Oh, I can imagine. I think another special thing is that we have the Bertie Alexander children come and sing during the tour. Uh, if you come in at 11 o'clock, there's a docent that shows you through the house. And it's a very short tour, so it's not like you're spending an hour. You, right. you would want to because there's so many beautiful appointments in the house that you, you could honestly spend an, uh, three hours in the house. And then on the half hour, we have uh, musical entertainment. So that happens every day. Oh. And that is very special. And again, many of the volunteers that sing and play the piano and play the harp volunteer their time. So they are helping us out with our ultimate goal, which is to raise the money to renovate the house. Fantastic. Uh, to do that today would be zillions of dollars. And on the home market uh, today, the home would be worth $10 million. Wow. And so if you can just imagine, if you could go turn the clock back over 100 years and walk through a home that was built, and you could see the craftsmanship and all the wonderful quality of building that they had in that day. Yeah. It would be spectacular. It really, yes, it really would. And and what you do at the Women's Forum, you don't just, it's not just the annual ho the holiday home tour. You've got the European Tea Room too coming up. And um, tell me a little bit about that. Well, Suzanne Pomlin is in charge. She's a former president. She was president for a couple of years. And actually, she birthed the idea of the holiday home tour. And it just expands. I mean, she's a bundle of energy. She manages the home tour. It lasts for 10 days. It uh, starts at 1 o'clock every day for your tea setting. 
It's mm. uh, only $45. It is a super bargain. I mean, it's all inclusive. There's uh, sipping champagne along the way and wonderful music in the background in this beautiful home away from home. You do not want to leave and you certainly don't want to miss it. We only have a limited number of seatings every day, which I think is approximately 60. So you better get on the list Absolutely. and call or go to uh, DallasWomansForum.org. Right. Or the number is 214-823-4533 to make your reservation. Perfect. And that happens straight after the holiday home tour. That's mm -hmm. right. And so have it, all the decorations will still be up. You'll still yes. mm -hmm. you'll still get that uh, the beautiful feel of it. I want it to start now because I'm hungry and that sounds delicious. <laughs> Wow, I mean, it, 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 what you all do there is is um, is wonderful. I mean, the, they not only renovate the mansion, but you also it, the money goes towards deserving um, deserving childcare center and 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 also Bertie school. Alexander, the school that was named after the sister of Charles Alexander, who founded you know the home or built the home in the early 1900s. Uh, she was the one that was the aficionado on music. And so we felt that it was fitting to adopt that school, and we have. We gave them uh, wonderful instruments, cellos and violas and violins. Wow. And really, they're scaled down to child size. And now we're building or having a company, I think out of New Jersey, build cabinets for them that these can be housed in. So, you know, they can be easily moved from room to room, and the children can practice as, as to their heart's content. I imagine not to their mother and father's content because they can take them home and a bit yeah. noisy. And, and, and again, as we've said, they'll come during the holiday home tour and they'll serenade and, and perform for us, which is very sweet. We're 200 and approximately 250 women strong. The most dedicated women I personally have had the privilege of working oh, with. That's wonderful. And we do other things throughout the year. Of course, we have business meetings and we have strategy planning in the summer to see what we want to achieve. We're very driven on goal setting, but our ultimate goal is is always to have fun. I mm -hmm. mean, that's what we're girls, so we like to kick it up and, and have a little bit of fun. But at the end of the day, our core common bond is to raise money for the home. And uh, we just do a variety of things, and the home tour is the biggest fundraiser that we have all year long. Right, so everybody has no excuse to go out and join you all and really preserve this piece of history on Ross Avenue because it really is a beautiful piece of history. Uh, well, ladies, thank you so much for coming on and I cannot wait to come and join you all and, and sit and eat <laughs> and, and also and, and see all of those amazing decorations that you've diligently spent time preparing. And uh, so thank you all so much. Good luck with it. So it's dallaswomansforum.org. That's the place to go. And then you buy tickets on, on there? Yes. Okay. Right, you can or buy you can them buy them at the, them at the door. door. Okay, so December 6th to 9th, the Dallas Women's Forum hosts the holiday annual home tour. And then join them again for the European Tea Room. I will be there for both of them. So thank you for joining us on Prime TV. Follow us, Facebook, Twitter. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.